Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Hero Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics week number 12 and day number five. And the context may be found on page number 118 of your workbook. If you have your workbook, just turn over to that page. If not, you're welcome just to watch the board with me. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about more word problems involving addition and subtraction of decimals. And there's a cool problem here on page number 119 that we are gonna to use to demonstrate how to do that even further. Watch with me. All right, so here is our board. And the problem states that assuming that after his resurrection, the Messiah flew up to an altitude of 305.268 feet before disappearing out of sight. If the Mount of Olives, where the disciples were watching, was 200 feet high, how much higher was Jesus than the Mountain of Olives before disappearing? Wow, that's a fun problem. All right, so this is... Um, addition and subtraction. Word problems. All right. So here are the disciples over here. Here's Peter, James, and John, and the rest of them. They were standing on the Mount of Olives like this. Okay, this is the Mount of Olives. <laughs> and here is Jesus. Jesus is like floating away to the clouds because Jesus is resurrected and he's waving. And he says, bye-bye, hey guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> and they told us that the Mount of Olives is about uh, 200 and, oh, it's just about 200 feet high. Okay, so that's the Mount of Olives over there. Olives, okay, Mount Olives. It's about 200 feet high. And Jesus is going into the clouds. He's going to be going into the clouds right now. He's going to disappear. But before he disappears, he flies to an altitude that we can say it's about, let's say, um, from... Okay, let's do this. So the altitude from sea level is going to be approximately about 305 point two six eight feet so jesus is getting ready to enter the clouds right now they can't see him anymore they're looking on but they can't see jesus past this altitude so the question is how much higher was jesus than the mount of olives so guess what they're telling us to calculate this distance okay so this is the distance x they're telling us to calculate well guess what that's a subtraction problem so that's really easy to do. So you're going to say 305.268 points. Two, zero, 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 zero. Okay. And you're going to do your subtraction like that. What is 8 minus 0? That's an 8. 6 minus 0, that's a 6. 2 minus 0, that's a 2. Point five zero one. That's your answer right there. So Jesus flew 105.268 feet higher than the Mount of Olives before he disappeared into the clouds. Isn't that cool? That's a cool word problem over there. All right, so let's look at another one. If there were no cloud covers and the disciples had five 55.265 feet of additional visibility, what would their total visibility be before Jesus disappeared? 
So all of a sudden right now, so they're telling us that, well, there's no cloud cover. And Jesus actually kept on traveling, traveling to another distance of 55 point, uh, 265. Well, I guess well, that's going to be an addition problem right now. So the disciples can still see Jesus because there are no cloud covers anymore. So guess what's going to happen? They're going to say 105 plus dot 268 plus 265 here and 55 here. So that's going to be 8 plus 5, that's 13. Carry 1 over, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 6 is another 13. Carry 1 over here, 1 plus 2 is 3, two plus, 3 plus 2 is 5, so that's going to be 5. 5 plus 5, that's a 10, so that's a 0. Carry a 1 over here, 1 plus 0 plus 5, that's a 6, and that's a 1. So they had an additional vis visibility of 55 points. Uh, one hundred and sixty point five three three feet. Okay, so that's going to be the answer to that. So the total visibility will be. So they're talking about total visibility right here from the top of the mountain, the top of the place where Jesus is going to disappear to the bottom of the mountain. You're going to have one sixty point five three three plus 200. I'm going to add this distance to it as well. So that's going to be 335.035 three, zero, three. So the answer is going to be 360.533. Three, three. All right. Did you, get, did you get something from it? Really, really cool problem. All right. I believe you did. Well, thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.